dear Lord Jesus. You love all the righteous beings out there, and I wonder if I can also ask for your love, even though I know I don't deserve to demand anything from you. I won't blame you if you refuse my request, but if you are still willing to love and accept me, I will be deeply grateful. I bow before you, for this might be the greatest honor of my life from now on. In the eyes of others, I am nothing more than a prisoner, deserving of punishment and eternal suffering. Lord, do you think like them, that I deserve to endure rejection and torment for the rest of my life? Before I knew you, I was arrogant and sinful. I never felt fulfilled. My greed always surged strongly, and these things made me a terribly wicked and selfish person. To satisfy my insatiable greed, I did not hesitate to commit robbery. Young or old, rich or poor, regardless of age or gender, if I saw an opportunity, I would take it. Regardless of their pleas, cries, or curses, I was indifferent. I seemed to be numb to the pain I caused, taking pleasure in achieving my goals. I even threatened the lives of my victims if they tried to scream or resist. Now, facing myself in this prison, it feels too late. Lord, have I reached a dead end with no chance to atone for my sins? Lord, please forgive me. In this cold prison, I seem completely cut off from the outside world. There is no one to talk to, no one to share with, no freedom to do what I once desired. I miss my family and loved ones. Now I realize how precious freedom outside is. In these lonely moments, I have much time to reflect on myself, on what I have been through, and on the things I have done, both right and wrong. In prison, I endure meager meals, the beatings, and the shouts of the guards echoing in my ears. I live a monotonous life, like a robot, with no joy. The threats from the other prisoners make me vividly imagine what I once did to my victims. They must have feared me as much or even more than I feel now. I remember the joyful moments with my family, going on outings together, playing sports, or simply watching a movie and laughing together. The times when I was exhausted but always had the comforting arms and encouraging words of my parents, the gifts on birthdays, all those beautiful memories are now just memories. Now, no one can comfort me when I'm weary, no one listens and shares my joys and sorrows, no one gives advice when I'm lost. Only you are with me and I thank you for not abandoning me. Because of the great temptation within me, I traded a life of joy and meaning for a dark, regret-filled life, a life full of suffering and confinement. But I will not give up. I will see this as a just punishment for what I have caused. This will be a time for me to reflect, meditate, and repent for all my mistakes. I offer you a sincere repentance and ask for your forgiveness. Please grant me forgiveness for all my wrongs. The sins I committed caused immense suffering to others. All the good and efforts of those people were taken by me without mercy. I even threatened others' lives to achieve my own goals. I feel like I am no different from the demons, acting as a loyal servant of Satan. Please forgive and cleanse the greed and anger within me. Let your light dispel the darkness that reigns within me, and give me a chance to start over. Teach me to do good, show me the way, 
and enlighten me if I don't understand your will and unintentionally commit mistakes that disappoint you. I am haunted and remorseful for my evil deeds, so Lord, grant me peace in my soul. For a long time, every time I close my eyes, my sins replay like a film, replaying the shameful moments of my life. The cries, pleas, complaints, hatred, and even curses of the victims surround me every second. Please help me have peaceful sleep. Give me peace and strength to overcome this difficult adversity. Let your faith and light ignite in my heart, dispel all evil, indifference, suffering, and torment within me. Draw me closer to you and give me the chance to learn from your teachings, and allow me to connect and converse with you every day. Lord, you are the only one who can understand and listen to me. Knowing you and having you in my life makes it more beautiful and meaningful than ever. Grant me a compassionate heart full of love. I want to spread the best things I have to everyone, using my love and sincerity to soothe those who are suffering. Please give me a forgiving heart so I can extend it to everyone, offering new opportunities to those who genuinely want to turn back and recognize their mistakes, for everyone needs a chance to return to their faith and righteousness, just as you are doing with me. Thank you, Lord, for listening to me, for not abandoning me at this moment, and for giving me the opportunity to know and connect deeply with you. Your presence is the light of my life. Dear Lord Jesus. Amen.